between the years of 2005 and 2012, a YouTuber operated under the alias of, Magnet Flipper, who posted up to 90 videos, and while doing so, amassed a sizable audience and was referenced in local news media, due to the quality of his content. His works related to both the scientific fields of magnetism and energy manipulation, along with these, he was more well known for his footage of alleged unidentified aerial phenomenon, or UFOs. Using high quality camera equipment while openly promoting his methods and achievements. But late in October of 2011, his channel was wiped overnight, and his catalogue of work was deleted in its entirety, much to the disappointment, and confusion, of his audience at the time. Following this sudden disappearance, it seems he never resurfaced and his incredible footage, considering the time period, was forgotten. Only but to a few. Somehow, a selection of videos survived this event, as they had likely been downloaded unknowingly in advance, and were able to be reposted by fans who thought his works should remain available, many of them believed he was forced to remove his channel, as his content reveals too much. Unfortunately, the amateur astronomer under the name of Magnet, Flipper is gone. He deleted his YouTube account and has not posted anything new since then under any other accounts. His last communication to a friend was sad, revealing that he likely was under pressure. Shortly after his disappearance, he made a small comment on a largely unknown forum, in which he stated, I gave you some concise thoughts to ponder and determine the course that you may follow. I hope that you don't lose interest in this subject. Remember if it was easy everyone would do it. I spend huge amounts of time looking for hours, and hours, sometimes with no results. And with no results I too get discouraged. I just focus, and I am all alone in this. Self-motivation is the key. His videos have seemingly been forgotten from memory over the decades since. Occasionally, an ex-viewer will ask if anyone else can recall who Magnet Flipper was, and if they can remember the unique UFO videos he once posted over a decade ago. This question is being asked more and more, and for one key reason, the characteristics of these unknown objects were similar to those that are currently becoming accepted as commonplace, following the acknowledgement from the Pentagon in 2019, and the subsequent push by elements with the United States Congress to assess the phenomenon. Most experts seem to acknowledge the following criteria when assessing an unknown object. As originally brought forward by Will Isndo, are the known as the five observable. These traits, as many of you may know are sudden and instantaneous acceleration, hypersonic velocities, without signatures, low observability, positive lift, transmedium travel. Now, while none of these are conclusively shown within Magnet Flipper's videos, there is room to debate the presence of some such as low observability, positive lift, and sudden acceleration. The videos shown are those were leaked and later confirmed, by US intelligence to be examples of unknown phenomenon. They are contrasted against some of Magnet Flipper's old content to facilitate comparison. Now to be clear, what remains of his YouTube content, a measly 10 to 20 videos out of, at minimum, roughly the hundred that were once available, is not a smoking gun that will burst the phenomenon wide open, or somehow cause an abrupt acceleration of disclosure. What it is, in reality, is a somehow overlooked aspect of UFOlogy, which should have taken these videos into discussion by now, but somehow, have been missed almost entirely. Consider briefly, how many individuals do you know within this field, who bear similarity to Magnet Flipper in his expertise, consistency, and content? Very, very few, I would guess. It is remarkable that this mystery hasn't been highlighted in a meaningful way, especially with how low the bar is for some areas of UFOlogy to engage in discussion, or more accurately debates, at times. What's left of his works, are videos demonstrating something pretty unique for the year of 2011, considering we had the iPhone 3 and 4 at the time. But there is more. 
which continues to build the mystery at hand. He didn't just publish UAP themed content, he posted a larger collection of videos wherein he demonstrates various scientific theories relating to electromagnetism, free energy, anti-cancer devices, and much more. In these clips, a few things become apparent such as an access to high-quality equipment resources, and the display of persuasive intellectualism surrounding the subjects he discusses, possibly suggesting an educated, and well-resourced individual, who also claims, to have previously worked for the United States Air Force, and who now resides in Denver, Colorado. Since I got the night vision device, it has just been an amazing thing. I was in the USAF for more than 10 years and worked on high-performance jets, and heard from some pilots who told stories about strange craft over flying jets and making sharp turns. Al, here in Denver, Colorado. Both of which are curious coincidences. Those being the potential crossover between the military complex and Magnet Flipper's interest in UAPs, along with his interest in magnetism and free energy, in a place that was special to Nikola Tesla, the so-called father of free energy theory. But neither of the pieces of information were publicized to the majority of his viewers. Very few would have known this, as I uncovered it in my research which only brings forth more questions. At the time, there was heated debate among those who viewed the footage posted online before 2011, as to the legitimacy of what Magnet Flipper claimed to demonstrate and display, but over time, it appears that at least some of his theories have been vindicated, within mainstream research, much like his UAP footage, following the acknowledgement of the phenomenon, as discussed. Surely, he would have resurfaced given the state of UFOlogy currently especially seeing as he may have something relevant, organized and unique to share. So where is this mysterious magnet flipper? This is where I found the need to continue my research, into the daunting depths of the internet. Now, with the mystery beginning to take form, I felt that there were many questions that required answers. As when I found this mystery in January of 2022, there was no evidence of anyone having done any research, or really even asking questions about him, or his channel. Essentially, there were no pre-existing answers, rare given the state of the internet today. So who was Magnet Flipper himself? Why hasn't he resurfaced? Are his demonstrations of scientific theory legitimate? If so they would require the understanding of common physics to shift in response, along with potentially changing the world, hence his criticisms. Are his videos of UAP to be trusted as these would be some of the better examples, even today, especially that these are from before 2012? This is my attempt to answer some of those questions. After over half a year of researching Magnet Flipper, these are the leading theories I have as to what caused his channel to be deleted. In exploring these, we will begin to unpack the mysteries within. 1. Magnet Flipper's channel was deleted, under pressure. This is the first theory that anyone looking into this should find, and at a surface level seems to be the most supported out of the surviving anecdotal stories from the wipe, which can be found on the channels that still host his content, many of which are associated with various conspiracy theories, that are wide ranging. Think back to the quote spoken in the beginning of this video, this was spoken by an online user who was commenting on the sudden, and unexplained, channel removal overnight, as seen here. For this to be the case, to justify a secretive, and hostile, channel takeover, surely he would have to have shared something truly groundbreaking, or so goes the theory. Personally, I don't believe this as there are countering primary sources discovered after the fact, but I will leave my full explanation for later in the video. 2. Magnet Flippo was publicly outed as a scammer, or as a fraud. This theory arose during the middle period of my research, as a result of looking into his science experiments, as the theories behind these often have support within conspiracy theory groups, for example, how magnetism can be linked to anti-gravity technology, which is only a short step from the German pursuits of this technology late in the Second World War, known as the Nazi Die Glock which is an even shorter step into Atlantis and reptilian overlords, to the joy of critical thinkers within UFOlogy. Another is his pursuit of zero-point energy which has a long history of alleged scamming. 
wherein investors are convinced that a machine has broken the laws of physics and is truly lossless, prompting them to invest, due to the unimaginable rewards that await. Now while this is within the realm of his content, he himself doesn't provide any definitive links that are beyond circumstantial. The only pieces of evidence to draw upon, are his A Gold video which on the opening screen reads technology available, for the right price, seen here, and a series of posts in a forum wherein he alludes to having finances of $20,000, allowing him to pursue his RIFF machine, which is shown on screen. I have just spent $20,000, on equipment to work on killing my cancer virus, that has infected me. I have just discovered that Rife waves are in fact, scalar, and are compression waves that can penetrate metals and alter matter. That is how the mixing of the audio waves happens in the plasma tube. It is really something incredible, as everyone was looking for the answer to the Rife waves, and now here it is. I am working on the way to cure cancer in dogs as I need to pay back the sum of money that I have spent. It will also help people who love their dogs. I originally thought he had gained that sum of money through an investment, but later had indications that suggested otherwise. What does dispute it, to an extent, is his access to high-tech equipment, which can often be seen in the background of his videos. Furthermore, while he never directly asks for assistance financially, he does request users to share his videos, which could be viewed from a cynical perspective. And just stunning, absolutely stunning. I put this video up because uh, I keep on shooting videos about magnets, and I keep on taking them off because after a while you wind up with 200 videos and nobody wants to watch them because they have to scroll through all the videos. So what I do is I put them up, people can make copies of them, disseminate them, anything that you want with them. Basically, magnetism is power. In the future, there's going to be free energy out there that's going to be based off of magnetism. Now, most scientists say, well, you can't harness magnetism. In fact, you can. There's a, this Gene Manning just wrote a huge article about uh, Atlantis rising this month, November, December issue, about magnetism. And uh, you should get it. It's on a newsstand, Atlantis rising. Please read it. Uh, follow doing your own research. If you don't believe it, then uh, stick your head in your sand, okay? Or, uh, or I don't know, get on Facebook. Do something else. Obviously, if you came across this video, you know there's something really weird going on out there. I was never taught this in high school, by the way. This right there. This that really doesn't exist. They still don't teach you. They still teach you the same old 160-year paradigm of magnetic fields and north and south fields or static fields. That's a bunch of BS. The reason is is because they want to control the oil and they control the basically nuclear power. And once you understand how magnetism works, you can actually generate all kinds of incredible devices. Free energy, in other words. Free energy means power for the people. That's what it's all about. It is also possible that public criticism pushed him offline, as he may have felt that posting publicly was a waste of his time, if he's only going to be criticized for it, personally, he seems more resilient than that, and I don't think he was bullied to a breaking point to again, due to evidence I unearthed which will be unpacked shortly. 3. Magnet Flipper is a persona, which is intentionally used for disinformation. In my research, I found enough information to form a rough idea of who Magnet Flipper was, or is, but what I've found could easily be incorrect, or intentionally false. I would believe that not everything can be directly trusted, as on occasion, he has commented about the need for privacy online. He seems to have a Russian, or more likely, Polish background, which for those familiar with the rise of international astroturfing, such as from Russian propagandists online who have been demonstrated to intentionally engage in conspiracy theories, inciting division in society for their agenda. It's not out of the realm of possibility that Magnet Flipper's goal was to disseminate misinformation, and was resigned for one reason or another after 2012. That said, I would find it unlikely, as his persona is simply too educated, experienced, consistent in their mannerisms and long-lasting which goes back to 2005, this will be further elaborated on later. 4. Magnet Flipper died, 
or did shortly after the deletion of his channel. Late in 2011, and into 2012, Magnet Flipper made a few public references to a medical condition that was affecting him, which was, blood cancer, allegedly obtained through his scientific endeavors, an unfortunate side effect of his tinkering. As you can see here it reads, It seems to me, that the Kapinid Z device is based on LENR and radiation is the byproduct of that research. Iron ferrite cores go nuclear, a warning to you, before you pulse that iron or copper. Get a rad meter for beta and alphas, live sucks with blood cancer. It possible that with this diagnosis, resulting from his pursuits in free energy devices, he decided to wipe his channel, and subsequently passed away with little acknowledgement on the half of his audience, which is possible given his attempts to keep a distance between his accounts and real life persona. Following 2012, all of his accounts went silent, and his original YouTube channel hasn't awoken as of 2022, although, he curiously reposted just six videos under the moniker, Magnet Flipper 2, onto a second and since abandoned YouTube channel. As an active forum user, and a YouTube creator with a passion for the UFO subject, posting some of the best content of the period, in hindsight, his silence speaks volumes, and it seems as if he potentially died sometime after 2012. Gradually, my motivation to research slowed, as I accepted that perhaps he had unfortunately died. The answers to the questions I had, resulting from his mysterious videos, simply couldn't be given. Early in the investigation, I made a small Reddit post, where I'll have recorded my initial findings to a small audience of users. Among those, was a user who I will call AGB. They helped me in sourcing information from the depths of the internet, and assisted in everything from tracking the video locations in person to replicating some of Magnet Flipper's UAP capture techniques. At this time, he found something, a new alias, something we overlooked through a terminology connection that linked to his Magnet Flipper title from an unknown website. Overunity.com, a hub of passionate researchers, and hobbyists dedicated to the pursuit of free energy, that is still used by people today, albeit only a few. Here, we sifted and slowly worked through hundreds of forum posts, beginning in 2010, made under the name of ACC, A, or ACA. It was at this point, most of our previous theories as to his identity and story would become almost dismissible. Due to the drastic introduction of key information, Magnet Flipper, known as Akka, was active as recently as 2021. He wasn't dead. After a multi-year hiatus beginning in 2012, on all sites and profiles, excluding overunity.com, on this website, he continued to remain active, posting sporadically through the years. During this period, he, as far as I am aware, was only active on Overunity, and the few comments made range from defending his scientific theories, to commenting on recent developments in the field. Occasionally, key insights can be gleaned into his works, helping to build a persona around Magnet Flipper. One such post, made in 2021, states that he is, quote back and then features a link to a YouTube video, but when the link is clicked, it's dead. This helps us partially in putting to bed some of the theories relating to Magnet Flipper being a disinformation agent, scam artist, victim of criticism. Now, through the years of his activity on Overunity, he does appear to go through phases of engagement, and comments can indeed be found where he alludes to the trolls on the platform preventing the facilitation of productive discussion. So while these theories are unlikely, they may still be relevant to the final picture despite my final hypothesis differing. Before we arrive at that theory, we can now largely brush aside theories that he was pressured off of the YouTube platform initially or that he died following his diagnosis. A few weeks were spent putting together a final theory, based on various comments made from Magnet Flipper across the decades, incorporating the context he had across the remaining videos and limited information available. The final theory cautiously suggests that Magnet Flipper removed the channel of his own accord. It's possible, that this choice came about following his diagnosis, and apparently that of his own father, who at the same time received a brain cancer diagnosis, 
although I am uncertain if they are interlinked, resulting from his pursuits of free energy specifically, what he calls a Kapanades device, based on the work of Tariel Kapanades, with considerations to designs by Joseph Newman, Howard Johnson, Nikola Tesla, and more. The side effects of his research, he claims, gave him terminal blood cancer, based on various comments he has made since 2012. When realizing the consequences of his actions, he may have chosen to remove his content, to prevent the risk of a large audience walking head first into a health hazard. I believe this theory's timeline aligns with his disappearance on YouTube, and would constitute a somewhat understandable reason to deleting his entire catalogue of work, which seemed to focus on his scientific interests to prevent lesser educated folk from stumbling into cancer unintentionally, leaving only breadcrumbs in his wake, to allow a small amount of dedicated individuals, dragged into the mystery, like myself, to pursue the field of free energy and his associated interests such as magnetism, anti-gravity, cold electricity and more. This theory, while I believe it's the best I have after researching the topic, may be later to be proven incorrect. It doesn't answer all of the questions initially posed, such as why he only occasionally remains active on over unity, and only raises further inquiries focusing on the validity of his scientific works and UAP footage. Another theory worth entertaining, is that this is a simple case of fraud, to some extent. Consider for a moment, if the bait were his UFO captures, which are designed to draw in a typically more susceptible, or gullible, viewer, then like myself, they stumble into his scientific demonstrations, during which they become hooked by the idea, and allure, of a grand conspiracy that prevents free energy, yet here it is before them and completely overlooked by the wider world, a unique opportunity from their perspective. The cause of this theory mainly originates from his gold video wherein he references a willingness to sell that specific technology, I'm unsure exactly, some kind of gold production in a simulated environment of 15,000 feet. Through the available UFO and scientific videos, there is little evidence that indicates a desire to sell his information, instead encouraging it to be shared. I believe this discounts the idea of him intentionally defrauding people through a scam but at the same time can see how it might be a statement designed to support grassroot audience growth thus allowing a scam to reach a wider audience. Could he have managed to gain a sizable investment, and when he failed to deliver, felt the need to announce a cancer diagnosis, and disappear offline, to avoid debt collectors? Or perhaps, he was comprehensively debunked and exposed to his audience, but there is no indication of such an event. It is worth considering as we should always try to entertain alternative perspectives. Critics in the past have alluded to this theory, mainly due to some of his claims not aligning with traditional physics understanding, for example his magnet vortex, and therefore being impossible. I think this is an easy way for some of those with critical opinions to easily explain away magnet flipper in his entirety. I don't believe this approach takes into account, the full and complete context, of the story surrounding the individual and his content and as an explanation, fails to holistically address key components of what make this truly compelling, such as his access to equipment, apparent education and field experience, consistency in persona over 15 years, previous USAF mechanical work, and more. Magnet Flipper as an individual, and what can be drawn from his surviving content, paints a more credible and consistent image of the person than that of a scammer, in my opinion. Finally, if he was a scam, where is he today? Why not given the current excitement in the media, access the easy audience? Surely, with the recent revelations within the field of UFOlogy, he would have arrived, given the content he once offered. So as it stands, the mystery looks like this, Magnet Flipper is responsible for two categories of content, that his channel regularly focused on, the first being UAP footage, that he captured himself using high-tech equipment, in which he clearly shared his techniques and specifications used to capture the footage. Along with this, his works featured a wide range of phenomenon, including available comparisons to flocks of birds, aircraft and satellite. For more information on this specific aspect, check my other available videos which contain an analysis and compilation of every surviving video. Furthermore, with recent Pentagon, Congressional, 
and media acknowledgement of unidentified aerial phenomenon, his footage of alleged UAP has at least partially, also been vindicated over time. This is seen when comparing his footage, and the characteristics of some of the objects of focus, to the recent government verified footage, witness accounts from the USS Nimitz, and statements from individuals generally seen as experts within this field, such as Elizondo, Mellon, and more. Second, being his demonstration of unique theories surrounding, primarily, magnetism and free energy. Within these demonstrations, viewers can observe expensive, and high-quality technology resources being used. Not forgetting, his apparent education and knowledge within magnetism and other fields of science. If you look past the foundational criticisms prior to 2011, his videos drew divided debate, but in the decades since, their Western scientific community has vindicated at least some of his claims, specifically the existence and practical utilization of the magnetic vortex. Now, while I claim this, I could easily be wrong, as I am not an expert. Those interested should engage in my other videos, which again feature a specific video dedicated to compiling all available content in full, with the addition of researched context, along with the available comments under this video and online, to ascertain the validity of my own claims and purported evidence. So given this partial vindication, and if he is truly still alive, as it appears, why hasn't he arisen from the shadows? Surely, he of all people, would have something worthwhile to contribute to the current debate. I'm sure he is watching with a keen eye, why has he not spoken? His remaining UAP footage is not groundbreaking, but when taken into consideration with the context, they are of adequate quality, given they are dated to before 2012. UFO Twitter and Reddit, along with other communities, regularly upvote footage that has previously been debunked. Yet these clips have been almost completely missed by these communities, somehow. It is not often that something unique is found, and I believe the assistance of those watching this video may assist in one day getting some form of closure to the questions we have. I do not know why Magnet Flipper chooses to remain underground, as he clearly is still alive, at least as actively as 2021. Nor, do I understand the full context to his scientific demonstrations and UAP footage, despite attempting to form it into a coherent narrative for the first time since his disappearance. While we understand he is likely located in Denver, Colorado, as per his own admissions, we did not ascertain an identity to Magnet Flipper. Nor, do I want to? Clearly, this individual seeks privacy, and to pry seek it may not result in answers. I've left out some information located in my research, in fear of inadvertently doxxing the real individual behind the alias of Magnet Flipper. While I've attempted to reach out to him, via his account on OverUnity and various email addresses to likely dead accounts, I'm yet to receive a response. I found this curious rabbit hole incredibly enjoyable to research, as it's rare that an unexplored avenue in internet law shows itself. Over the course of the previous 12 months, I had become increasingly interested in the discussions surrounding the subject of unidentified aerial phenomenon, and subsequently found myself reading another article, and the meta-commentary beneath while reading a post about a recent announcement from NASA, and shifting through the comments, I stumbled upon a single statement that captured my attention, from Reddit user I'm Alive, in which he compared the subject of the article to content posted from an old YouTuber called Magnet Flipper, and remarked how disappointing it was that the creator had deleted his channel and removed his entire catalog. I'm no expert, but I considered myself to be at least somewhat knowledgeable of the law that underpins UFOlogy, and didn't know anything about this so-called Magnet Flipper. So I opened a new tab, and started googling. I support critical thinking, and tolerant education. If you have anything to share, including opinions, you are welcome to post them in the comments or to share this video elsewhere for discussion. For now, I thank you for viewing my video, as in summarizing this mystery into a somewhat coherent topic was difficult, 
and took a considerable amount of time. In the description you can find links to my other content, which individually explores compilations of Magnet Flipper's surviving works, those being his UAP videos and his science demonstrations. In these I provide further context, and have collected all the remaining videos of his into organized catalogs none of which has been previously accomplished. I'd like to quickly thank Red Ditch user, AGB who was a massive help in researching, along with user Ragchomp on the Discord group for the UFO subreddit, who was instrumental in a key discovery that really allowed us to build the timeline beyond 2013. I hope you enjoyed this mystery. And if you have more questions you can again explore my channel for more in-depth research.